Hello, this is a very quick look at the Oculus Touch controllers. These are a brilliant addition to the Rift headset. They feel very nice and premium, really good build quality to them. You get the two controllers, an extra sensor and a rock band adapter. They mirror each other in terms of buttons and layouts. They feel very intuitive. This band protects your hand if you accidentally try and hit a wall, which I've done a couple of times. And they've got a little wrist strap on in case you happen to let go. They each take a single AA battery and they're included in the box and that just slips on and off and there's very little weight to them, they're very comfortable in the hand. You've got a couple of triggers, a side button, a couple of buttons on top and then the analog stick. It says it was very easy, just follow the on-screen instructions via the Oculus software and it'll have you gripping and poking and pointing and all sorts just to get the hang of this and it's great to see some games included as well. So first up I've been trying Dead and Buried, this is a shooter and it's a kind of western style six gun shooter six bullet gun shooter a really good fun uh, you fixed in place there's quite a few different modes with this you can have shootouts i've had shootouts with people there's a horde mode which is absolutely brilliant that that is really good with the rift unfortunately there's not a massive amount of users so it's not a very single player and that has led to me wanting to show you this and i went into horde looking forward to a good game and it was just a lot of waiting around for finding a game Hopefully as more people get the touch controllers, there'll be more people online to play Horde with. Next up is a game called Toy Box. It's not really a game, it's more just of a technical demo, so you can grab various items. This is great if you've got mates around, you just want to show them the touch controllers and the rift and how well it works. So you basically have a little play area, you can change the environment, you can reduce the gravity. And this again works really well with the rift because you can look all around and you can just experiment pick stuff up, throw it around, you can go to an environment that has uh, just a load of fireworks which is quite good fun and uh, it's, it's not going to last you for ages but it's a really good demonstration of what the Rift and the touch controls can do and it does feel very immersive. Note that I don't have a massive room for this and I've not had a problem with the two sensors, I haven't need to get a third and I've got enough room to move around and as most of the games are generally you're stood in a, uh, one little area I've found the space to be fine, but of course for the most immersive games you're probably going to want to try and set this up in a slightly larger room than I have. There's also a kind of art program, I've not recorded that because I'm not particularly artistic and I'm not very good with this at all, but that's quite good fun if you want to let loose your creative side. And uh, I also got an email from Amazon giving me another couple of games, so this is VR Sports challenge and this has a number of modes this is a basketball mode which is quite good fun but there's various modes in it and you, you get the idea you're basically playing basketball and uh, passing and shooting and all sorts it's quite good actually when you score um, i'm much better in the game world than i am in real life at this so that was quite cool and finally just a quick demo of the unspoken this is one where you're a wizard and you cast spells so you cast spells with one hand and the other hand you can call a shield up and bounce things back again this is more of a multiplayer game has a lot of potential because you can do all sorts of different spells and uh, you can summon things and all sorts and you're reflecting the fireballs. This is really good fun actually and it works really well with the controllers. But again, a bit like the earlier game, I did have a bit of an issue when I tried to play this multiplayer in that I was just waiting around for quite a long time and no one seemed to be there. So do be prepared to stand around just looking at a screen waiting for someone to connect. I've just spotted that Bullet Train is free at the moment on the Oculus Store, so I'm off to download that. I definitely say if you've got a Rift, these are a no-brainer upgrade. These are a fantastic bit of kit. Really looking forward to trying out even more games. There's already a load out there. You get quite a few with it, and so far I've been very impressed. They have been, if you have a, a very extended session, they have been a, a cause of a slightly sore hand afterwards because you grip so hard, but the feeling of immersion when you are grabbing things like this and pulling them towards you is incredible. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.